What's happening, Cycling Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. I got this Guider Ease Your Mobile Life uh, phone holder. It's actually uh, kind of a multi-function. They say three-in-one bike phone holder. So let me unbox it. Obviously, it's got all the functions printed on the back here. But what makes this interesting is that a lot of us, when we want to go biking, we certainly want to have our phone often right on our, the handlebars. You know, in front of us, uh, there's that famous Apple commercial where the guy goes biking in the rain. And, you know, whether it's GPS or, I don't know, watching a movie. Um, having your phone, you know, not in your your pocket, uh, or maybe even tracking, you know, the, um, the exercise information, right? GPS, calories burned, that kind of thing can be really nice. So, first of all, uh, I want to show you that comes with some tools here. It comes with a, you know, three-inch little rubber strip here, and then a uh, star bit tool. So, obviously, that's going to be how you torque this little bad boy down and then here is the three-in-one holder itself man this thing is robust first of all it's covered in plastic so it comes very very well packaged um, you know I'll try to get some of this off while we're talking about it but as you can see here you know there is um, there's a lot to it I mean it's not like overly big or bulky but it just feels like this thing is robust so first of all down here on the bottom we have a clamp this is the piece where you're going to use this and not not only is it a star bit but it's one of the ones that have like a dimpled um, middle so you need a special tool so that's gonna be how you unhook this thing um, it already has rubber liners in here so I think it's gonna hold on to you know your handlebar is where it's gonna go on you're gonna tighten that down and then up here looks like we have a little ball joint and what's really interesting about the ball joint is there are, there are a bunch of holes in it I'm not sure if you can see that and then we have a metal with a lot of knurling metal pin here that I think is gonna help us lock it in place and not just lock it into place but my assumption is that uh, this is really gonna lock it down especially since that 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 ball you know the ball joint there is dimpled so you know if I were to attach this to the bike handle and tighten this down a little rubber grommet right there tighten that in and yeah that's that's not going anywhere now okay so that stays really tight now I don't want to over tighten it because that looks plastic to me uh, so I don't want to break it I'm just gonna back it off here a little bit so um, I can play with it a little bit we also have a compass right there so to me um, it's in oil it's floating around there so it's gonna be nicely damped but I guess to me then, you, and you're probably sitting up really high, I guess, on your most of the bikes, you're looking down on the handlebars. So this will be laying pretty flat, so that's probably gonna be great. Um, you know, if you have a smartphone, it probably has a compass feature built into it, but that's really cool, especially if you're not putting your smartphone there or don't have it, or if you're just wearing your Apple Watch because you don't even take your phone anywhere, nice to have that for some directional um, you know, guidance. We also have some really thick rubber pads on the top and bottom, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a claw on the end, so it's going to hold that in place. Uh, we also have a power button rubberized at the top, and it looks like LEDs on the front here. So if I just hit that, we have, man, yeah, some pretty decently bright little LEDs uh, on strobe, fast strobe, I should say, slow strobe, and then off. Now, we also have this big dial on the back here, and I'm assuming this will allow me to uh, tighten the grips down. So if I loosen it up like this, lefty-loosey, now I have a pretty heavily spring-loaded clamp here. Now, let me just take this iPhone 10. I'm just gonna slide it in here like that. Uh, first of all, this clamp is you know, spring-loaded so much. I I'll be honest, holy smokes, kinda sliding it around on that rubber is hard. Um, I'll be honest, this clamp is strong enough that I don't really feel like this is gonna fly out, but I get, especially if you're mountain biking or you're gonna hit a pothole, tighten this down, this thing now will not move. I can't open it. And then, you know, so it really kind of makes it a permanent fi fixture in there. So you know, loosen it up and now I can get this out. You certainly don't have to worry about it falling out towards you. So overall, I'm really impressed with it. It's compass, light, and phone holder, right? So pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I'm definitely gonna put this on my bike and use it because I think it's just, you know, kind of, checks a lot of boxes for me and the great thing about this thing is uh, it's not that expensive so I'll put a link to this uh, Q003 3-in-1 bike holder uh, in the description below if you want to pick one up so safe and happy biking to you Peter Von Pan out